Hey guys, welcome back to the Binion Tree. So this is a video about my first ever mission trip. We went to Mexicali in Mexico and that was awesome. This is a um, health expo and this was way too much fun. I love community programs. We gave free services, dental, haircuts. Um, we went out canvassing. We gave out glasses for free. This guy's a legend. Bro, shout out to Hunter. Viva Mexico. There were children's programs at each of the different sites. We all got in groups and worked with them. That guy's also a legend. <laughs> um, there's another legend right here. This guy had six fingers and he let us take pictures. There was a tribe of us. It was so much fun. There was painting of churches going on. Um, on this day, it didn't take too long, but I think it made a big difference. Um, this was one of the groups I wasn't part of it, but this is kind of what um, the church looked like after. And very sweet people. They were, I think, very grateful. Um, our group went that day to the zoo. Um, and we had another health expo and we met Mickey Mouse and fitted him for glasses. <laughs> Um, the people in Mexico are insanely sweet, very open. It was wonderful speaking my own language every single day. Um, and just, I don't know, being in my culture, it was really awesome. And being with all of these people and the shenanigans we got up to was insanely just amazing. It was such a blessing. I am so grateful I got to go with them. There were so many beautiful sights all over the place. Um, murals and paintings, people were really artistic. Um, this was a... Um, like an addiction shelter and we got to do a uh, health expo there and that was really amazing because they were really open to like everything we had to say and everything that we were bringing to the table so it was awesome. We also in the nighttime did um, sermons and meetings at all the different sites. I got to preach a lot and give my testimony. I will probably leave the links to that in the description box below if you want to go hear it. Um, and this was one of the nights where <laughs> the kids got really excited with a ball and popped it um more children's programs the food was amazing shout out to everyone who gave us food all the ladies that spent their time cooking for all of us it's amazing we gave out a lot of great controversies and on the last night everyone all the sides came together to hear the last sermon and we were able to say goodbye to each other in the best way possible here we are singing I had such amazing experiences with my friends, um, some of my closest friends that have come into my life in the last few months were all there, um, and so I had my tribe of unicorns with me, and it was so beautiful to be able to bond with them and also share my testimony. I've been through so much, and this was a meaningful moment for me where so much pain and suffering turned into something really beautiful. And it's, I think I'll always remember it differently now because of this wonderful experience and how I was able to, God was able to use it to help others and encourage others. And so I am so very grateful. I'm on such a high. This was such a successful mission trip and, you know, God just did everything. And this song is basically talking about how God sustains you. It's really beautiful. Um, this was an incredible experience for me because I realized that I have so many blessings that I take for granted and the knowledge that I have that sometimes irritates me to even learn um, can completely change people's lives and people are out there suffering because they don't have what I have so readily available to me and so it, it was really a call to my heart, it spoke to my heart, it was really like an appeal, a call to serve. I am so grateful. Thank you to everyone. Can you show me your again? Start with the key at the bottom. So the, 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 the key is right here. That, and that's enough. Yeah. Okay. Something strong and independent. What was the other one like? What? What was the weak one like? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.